welcome back. So it is Sunday and I figured I'd start the vlog here because I'm going to go get brunch with my friend Sam. I have been having the hardest time figuring out what to wear this morning. I don't know, it's like one of those days. Like there are clothes everywhere in my bedroom. It's an absolute disaster. I think it's the combination that it's really cold. So I wanna wear something that's warm, but then fitting, finding sweaters that like fit under jackets. It's, I don't know, it's just been a mess. But anyway, so I'm just wearing this brown sweater. It's from Free People. I'm wearing some H&M black, like regular trousers. My Prada loafers, I don't know why I'm showing you guys like that. These baguette earrings that my sister-in-law and brother got me from Missouri. I think I'm just gonna wear this coat. I just like cannot wait for my Aritzia slouch coat to come in because like that's what I would have worn. But I'm gonna wear this houndstooth coat from J. Crew that I got. Literally, my mom gave it to me. It was like her coat a million years ago. I also don't know if this sweater is gonna like really fit under here, but I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do. And then I'm bringing my black Aritzia nylon bag. I think that's it. I have to take Randall out quickly and then I'm meeting my friend Sam at the Dutch, which I'm so excited. I have not seen her in so long and it's totally my fault. I've been like so busy and it's just been a disaster, but I haven't seen her in so long. So I'm really excited to catch up with her and have yummy brunch. I feel like I haven't done brunch in a minute, so it'll be fun. So let's, let's hit the town. so I guess it's not really morning. I'm taking an acting class at one. It's over Zoom, which is kind of nice, so I don't have to like go anywhere, but I'm kind of annoyed because I thought it was gonna be, typically in acting classes you like perform and present like a scene, and this seems to be like a lecture. I wasn't handed any sides, so let's hope that that is the case and I didn't just like missed the email or it went into my trash, but I think it's just gonna be like a lecture for like two hours, which kind of stinks, but whatever. It is what it is. This morning has been utter chaos. I was FaceTiming my sister and I basically just like decided that this weekend I am actually just gonna go to Florida for 20 hours, not even being dramatic. My sister-in-law is having a baby shower on Saturday, but I work Friday night, so I couldn't fly out Friday night and then so I'm like flying out Saturday morning. I think my flight's at like 5 a.m. And then I come back on Sunday. My flight out of Florida is at 7 a.m. So I'm literally there for 20 hours. I just like didn't want to miss it. It's like I think all my siblings are going, which like we weren't together for Christmas this year. So it'll just be fun to see everyone and to see my baby nephew again because he's grown like so much since I've seen him. But that's going to be just like utter chaos. Thank God I'm not bringing Randall, so that'll like make things a little bit easier. And this morning I was walking Randall and I was gonna bring my package upstairs and someone stole it in my building. I don't know like what's going on. This is like the second time it's happened to me and I know it's the same person because they have like opened the box and then they like take the contents of the box and then like leave the box where it like was delivered. And they did this with like my Christmas tree and then now they just did it with my protein shakes, which is just so, so annoying. I'm just getting so frustrated. So I definitely need to like contact my building today about that. But anyway, I'm gonna take my acting class. I like, I'm kind of hungry, but like I don't have time to make anything. And I don't want like a sandwich or anything or like oatmeal or cereal because I had that for dinner. But 
so I'm gonna take the acting class and then I'll probably check in with you guys after. I think I might go get my nails done today and then my cousin and his girlfriend and I might go and get some drinks. But that's alternative. But I figured I'd just check, <laughs> check in with you guys before the chaos all begins. So I'm gonna go take that acting class. <laughs> So I'm on my way to go get my nails done. I just finished my acting class. It was really beginner, which is kind of a doozy. I mean, it was a good refresh for certain things, but it was definitely like a very, like I've never acted. Here's an acting class to take. So like it was good going over some of the fundamentals, but if I'm honest, it was mostly really boring and too easy. But now I'm on my way to go get my nails done. I just got out of the nail salon and I'm gonna go meet my cousin and his girlfriend at 8th Street Vineyard, I think it's called or something like that. I'll let you guys know, but my nails turned out really cute. They're just like really nice and natural, although I was a little concerned that I was gonna be super late to meeting my cousin because it was taking forever, but it turned out really good and I'm on time now, so it all worked out, thank God. I got a very exciting package. I think it's my Ritzia slouch coat. Slouch coat. Anyway, last night was really fun hanging out with my cousin and his girlfriend. I didn't end up getting any footage, so sorry about that. I definitely want to go back to that place though. It's called 8th Street Wine. And honestly, their happy hour deals are so cheap. And it was like such a little cozy, fun hole in the wall place so I definitely want to go back there I actually think Thomas and I are going to hang out tonight and I'm gonna to try to convince him to go there because I think he would really enjoy it but anyway let me unbox what I think is my slouch coat it is my slouch coat ah! so it comes in this giant bag I honestly love Aritzia's packaging I think it's so pretty Okay, okay, okay. Here it is. Here it is. So cute. I think, though, this might be the material that I didn't want. There's like two, and I think this is the fuzzy one. And I wanted the other one, I think. I don't know. Let me try it on. Okay, what do we think? It's definitely cute. I like can't really see it in the viewfinder, so this is kind of hard. Let me look in my big mirror. Let me, I'll just bring you guys the big mirror. So here it is in the big mirror. Maybe I want the size three. I don't think this is like oversized enough. Hmm. I also feel like this really was the one that, like the material that I didn't want. I mean, it's cute. It's cute. Don't get me wrong. I just can't decide if I should go like up a size or I don't know. I'm not blown away. I really wanted to love it and I loved it in the um, brown material that I tried on but for some reason I feel like the black isn't doing it for me hmm I don't know I'm gonna have to do some research let me do some research online see which one I got see if I got the correct one and then I'll like give you guys my verdict like, I like it. It's just not exactly what I wanted. I don't know. So I did my research on the coat and I think the girl in the store didn't know what she's talking about because there is a different material in the slouch coat, but that doesn't come in black. So I definitely have the right material or at least like the only material that they sell the black one. I just like can't decide if I want the two or maybe like try on the three. 
I think like before I take the tags off, maybe I'll go to like an Aritzia, maybe I'll go tomorrow or something. I'll bring this one in the bag, but then just like try on the third one or like the three, the size three and see if I like it. They also like come in a size long versus regular and she was like telling me that there really isn't a long, but maybe I want the long one. I don't know. I feel like I just need to go back just to like, even if like the three is too big, just like like put my mind at ease i guess the black like you know how black like makes you look smaller i feel like it just made the coat look smaller than when i tried on the brown one in the last vlog so i don't know i'm not like opposed to keeping it i really do like it it's growing on me it's just like not as big as i thought it would be like i thought it would be like a little bit more stiff and chunky and bigger which is how i felt with the brown one but I can fit like a really chunky sweater under it. So it's definitely like not too small. I just don't know if I really want like that really oversized look, if that makes any sense. But let me know your opinion down below. I know it was kind of hard because it's hard to like see a black coat on like camera, but let me know your guys' thoughts and maybe I'll go to Aritzia later this week. Um, but now it's time for me to take Randall out. I think I'm gonna bring him to the dog park and walk around in Washington Square Park just cause like he has not had a long walk in a while and he definitely needs some exercise so let's go do that Good morning you guys so last night I did end up hanging out with Thomas he stayed in Connecticut so I just like stayed in and I watched um, sex lives of college girls I think that's what it's called on HBO max oh my god so good Mindy K Kaling I think that's her name um, she wrote it but it actually is amazing like I I was like I don't know you know I was like this might be kind of corny or whatever and like not good but no it was so so good so highly recommend checking that out if you need a new show i literally am like seven episodes in so i literally just stayed in like made oatmeal chocolate chip cookies and just chilled which was kind of actually nice i feel like i've been needing some just chill time which i'm glad i'm getting this week especially because this weekend is going to be hectic but yesterday i like got so much done which i'm really proud of myself like i did laundry i like vacuumed i did like all of those really annoying things that i normally put off and i just like got them all done with so today i have free time up until i have to leave for work i think i have to leave at like 3 30 i think they need me a little bit earlier so i don't have too much time but i figured i would head to free people my mom got me a sweater from christmas it's really cute it's just too small so i think i'm going to return that at the store see if i can exchange it for something and then depending on how I feel, I might go to Aritzia and try on the size three in the slouch coat. I don't wanna bring the coat just because it, it came in this like huge bag and that just seems like so annoying. So I might just go and like see if they have a size two and a size three, it doesn't have to be in black and just like see the difference in sizing. And if I really, really love it, then I will order the three online and like return the other one another day. I really honestly should just like bring it in case I want to return it but something about me does anyone else have social anxiety about the dumbest things like for me it's like bringing this bag all the way to Aritzia like I feel like this looks so ridiculous and also like something about bringing like a coat or something to the store and trying it on with like another version that they have in the store seems illegal. Like I feel like they're gonna think I'm stealing or something. I don't know. So I'm just not doing that. So I'm gonna head to free people, at least do that and then see how I feel if I wanna walk to Aritzia. 
The thing is, the free people that I'm thinking of going to is closer to the Aritzia and Soho, which is just like always a madhouse. So I might actually go to the one in like Flatiron because sometimes that's just like easier. It's going to those stores. So I'm going to go do that. Also, before we head out, I figured I'd show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this set from Durf Avenue, which if you know Matilda Durf on Instagram and like well, like every social media platform, she's a really cool influencer, owns this like awesome brand. I'm not going to lie. When I first tried this on, I thought I really didn't like it. And then I had to steam the pants and that made like a huge difference. Like I know steaming makes a difference, but I was like, oh, this doesn't fit very well. And now that it's steamed, it looks so cute, but it's the breezy set in black. Um, I think I showed you guys when I got it, but it's just so cute and comfy and just like a easy no brainer outfit because it just like goes together so i'm gonna be wearing this with my prada loafers i'm probably gonna put on my super puff for right now um because it's like 40 degrees um but yeah so that's what i'm wearing let's go and do some returning <laughs> All of my shopping shenanigans if you will I stopped into free people nothing really worked out for me I did like that little black crop top but I didn't know if it was like the most flattering with my arms so I just was like let me hold off but I did return my sweater so I checked that off my list and then I went to Aritzia and I tried on the two different kinds of coats it turns out she did actually get me the wrong material coat so that's i think why i thought it was very different i guess there is they might be sold out online i might have to start calling the stores or whatnot but i tried on the size two and the size three i definitely want that material i don't want the material one that she gave me the only issue now is it i don't know what size i want like the three is definitely like a little bit more moody and a little more edgy and maybe more casual and then the two is more like fitted a little more timeless so that's kind of why i'm still leaning towards the two just because i want this coat to be in my wardrobe for years and years and years so the two is like a little bit more generic if you will i don't know let me know with your thoughts down below i might also just go on and see if i can get either of them in that material and then maybe just do that but I'm definitely glad that I went and tried on those coats because that other material like makes a huge difference. Um, and then I picked up Marie's bagel. So I got a honey seed bagel with egg, cheese, avocado, and onion. Oh no. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. This isn't mine. Are you fucking kidding? They gave me a bagel and it has salmon on it and caper, so I literally can't even eat it. That is so disappointing. Well, it looks good if you eat salmon and capers and everything, but I don't, so that sucks. It's literally not my bagel. Do I call them? Like, their bagels are kind of expensive. Maybe I'll give them a call. That's so annoying. So update on the bagel situation. I'm on my way to work, so I'm getting ready to leave, but I figured I would let you guys know what happened with the bagel. So I gave them a call and they were so not helpful. They were like, oh, well, do you have the receipt? And I was like, well, I don't have my receipt that has my card on it. I have the incorrect receipt. And they're like, well, we can't do anything about it if you 
don't give us the right receipt. I was like, well, I only have the wrong receipt. I was like, I can give you the card number. I can give you the time that I ordered it, what I ordered, whatever. They wouldn't even do it. And the guy was like, well, we can't keep handing out free bagels. And I was like, you're not handing out a free bagel. Like I paid for a bagel and I didn't get it. It was your fault that you guys messed up the order. And then he was like, well, maybe you just picked up the wrong one. Like when we yelled 56, you came and got it, even though you were ordered 58. And I was like, okay, that didn't happen. Like, why would I do that? And why would I want to do that? So that was like literally so annoying. I... <sighs> I can't so they literally didn't even give me a refund they were just like yeah come in tomorrow and just give them us your name and we'll give you a free bagel and then the other thing that they were doing was they were like oh we'll just come bring the bagel back and I was like well like I walked all the way there it's like a mile walk away from my apartment it's not like close so I was like I'm not gonna go back to bring a freaking bagel all I wanted was like either my money back or like just email me a freaking gift card for like the amount for a bagel I don't know I was so upset with them because I get annoyed like I, I don't complain about anything I'm actually surprised I even called them in the first place but I don't know I just was like kind of annoyed because I don't know like I'm not trying to scam them I just you know literally paid twenty dollars for a bagel that I can't eat so and I didn't even so I didn't even have like correct lunch but anyway I am off to work I'll probably check back in with you guys tomorrow because I get back super late for work um, so yeah, I'll check back in with you guys then.